Are your cleaning prospects motivated by quality or by price? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of thejanitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. Well, you know, when we meet with prospects, it's very important for us to establish if they're motivated by price or if they're motivated by quality. And what I mean by that is that we've got to make sure that we're not dealing with a price shopper. Because any prospects that are motivated by price are exactly that. They're just looking for the lowest price. And we don't want to compete on price, you know. So uh, it's very important that we start asking some very good, very good questions about uh, to uncover if they're a price shopper or not. You know, so any, any question about price, you know, or what your budget is and so on and so forth, uh, is the best thing to do. Maybe uh, asking them, um, you know, how will they make their decision uh, as to who they're going to go with. Will it be based on price uh, or uh, some other some other way? Now, a lot of times you got to watch the person's body language and how they answer the questions uh, because that will really uncover if they're really telling the truth or not. Um, but anyway, that's the key. You have to identify if you're dealing with a price shopper because if they're motivi motivated by price, that means that the next time a cleaner comes by and they're $5 cheaper than you, well, guess what? You're going to be gone. They're going to hire them. And the other thing that has been my experience dealing with people that are motivated by price is that, boy, they're hard to work with. You know, they're looking for the lowest deal, and then once, they, once you start to work with them, they want more, and they want more, and they want more. You know, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And then when you tell them that, well, I can do that for an additional price, well, then they kind of balk at that, like, well, geez, you know, um, you know, you're not offering very much value or whatever. You know, they get an attitude. So, uh, you know, they're just not fun to work with. So that's the thing is that we got to make sure that we're asking questions and identifying these people that are motivated by price versus motivated by quality. Now, motivated by quality, uh, obviously the person is going willing to pay a fair uh, a fair price for your services to get quality service from a professional. Plain and simple. You know, and those types of clients are 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 great to work with. So again, you know, if you're out talking with prospects, we have to identify that and try to uncover what are we dealing with? Are we dealing with somebody that's motivated by quality or, or price? Um, you know, one thing that I found out is that it's, it's truly uh, uh, much better to work with your ideal client. And what I mean that is uh, look at your current clients and uh, take a look at which ones you really like to work with. And you know, you're gonna find out probably that these are the people that are easy to work with uh, they're paying, <clears throat> excuse me, paying you a fair price for the services that that they're getting, and uh, it's just a pleasure to work with them. Uh, you, you know, they're not calling and complaining about every little thing. Uh, they're not complaining because uh, uh, <clears throat> you know a trash can was missed once or or something something simple like that. They're just they're just easy to work with. Uh, those are the types of clients that we want. So hopefully you can identify your ideal client and like I say, just look at your, your current clients and see which ones you can really identify are the, the ones that uh, either you're making the most profit on, easy to work with, uh, it's just easy to get along with. And those are the types of prospects that you want to uh, try to sell your services to. So, well, those are the prospects that you're looking for. Uh, as far as when we're out uh, talking to, and uh, presenting to the to prospects. Uh, we just don't want the ones that are motivated by price. We just don't want that. They're too much of a problem. They're just not worth it. Um, so if you're selling on price, you got to stop it. And the funny thing is, is that about 33% of cleaning companies out there are selling on price. So, you know, they're laying the groundwork and, and uh, you know, for price shoppers. So I would advise you to let them deal with the price shoppers. You identify your ideal prospect and do business with those types of prospects. Let the other, the other 33%, let them have the, the price shoppers deal with all the headaches. And, you know, they're on the race to zero anyway. So anyway, well, that's all I have on this subject. So if you, uh, if you got it, anything out of this, uh, go ahead and click the like and share button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got hundreds of YouTube videos that will uh, help you build a successful cleaning company. So until next time, we'll see you.